Hello, I'm Bill Vellante, General Manager of our Professional Services team here in North America. And I have the privilege of working with our teams, our partners, and most importantly, our customers to define and evolve our industry-focused strategies. This includes understanding current challenges, trends, business drivers, so that we can assist our customers to achieve measurable outcomes from their partnership with Infor. Professional services is a strategic industry for us. We have customers in over 80 countries that rely on Infor to meet their software needs. Our customer base provides us with an understanding of the many challenges that they face. Our customers are continually addressing new sources of disruption and risk. Top level priorities of our customers include driving client and employee satisfaction, enhancing service profitability and sustaining growth, all while being able to seamlessly manage sales, service engagements, financials, and employees. Our commitment to customers extends throughout N4 from product management to solution consulting, support, all the way through to your account executive. And our employees and partners are committed to your success. More than technology, we're invested in your success. We'd like to show you how our commitment to professional services organizations leading to business transformation now and into the future. So I'll hand off this presentation now to Diane Johnson, our professional services industry strategist. And thank you. As Bill said, I'm Diane Johnson, industry and solutions strategist with Infor. I work closely with our leadership, our partners, and our analysts to ensure the solutions that we deliver meet the specific needs of our customers and that they are achieving measurable outcomes from their partnership with us. Today, I'd like to talk about a few key challenges the professional service industry is facing today and how Infor is helping. Today, firms are challenging their existing methods, systems, and operations, all seeking ways to deliver differentiated services, both now and in the future. Their longevity and competitiveness will be determined by how well they respond to external issues facing their clients, as well as internal challenges within their own organization. Firms are facing increased competition, thinner margins, and talent acquisition challenges, all while trying to improve their performance and profitability amidst growing customer expectations of digitalization and the consumerization of business services. Now let's look at six key areas that all segments across the industry are addressing. First, the automation of intelligence. We know that knowledge and expertise are the primary offerings of the industry, and traditionally it has been provided by humans. But by leveraging emerging technologies such as analytics, artificial intelligence, and deep machine learning, firms are able to augment the professional's abilities to do, to learn, to think, and even to feel. This will both enhance the quality and the volume of expertise along with lowering their cost. Second, how to create a highly tailored customer experience. Customer intelligence. How are firms capturing data and mining for customer-centered intelligence? And then, once they have that intelligence, their ability to act in real time on that intelligence will provide needed insights into increasing revenue and profitability. Customer intelligence will also aid in value-based pricing models that I'll discuss later. Third, tighter margins. There is a significant shift in revenue models with value-based pricing. Firms are moving from profitable legacy revenue streams of traditional billable hours to more outcome-produced models with revenue streams that have not been fully optimized. And again, an issue of disparate systems and disjointed manual processes, those also are creating inefficiencies and are contributing to reduced margins and profitability. Four, talent acquisition and retention. Every organization is seeking effective ways to source talent and to maintain high engagement levels. We talk about the change in revenue models, but let's also look at the change in delivery models from the remote workforce. A recent McKinsey study showed that the remote workforce has increased by 65% for professional services organizations. 
Five, limited business insights. Overcoming this challenge is key to successfully predicting drivers of risk and success for projects and customer engagements. Limited insights impede a firm's ability to make and accelerate data-enabled decisions and impacts their ability to implement integrated planning across all business segments. Six, security and compliance. There are two key questions firms are asking. First, how to adapt to technological change and innovation while remaining compliant? And second, what are the risks associated with increasing the use of artificial intelligence? What's the impact of innovation on operational resilience and cybersecurity and its impact on digital ethics? You know, I like to think of two levers that organizations are using when addressing these challenges. One is organizational agility, and the second is digital transformation. Let's look at the first lever, organizational agility. Companies with workforce flexibility, an agile working culture, and a smart infrastructure can anticipate change, react faster than competitors, and adapt their strategies and processes in response to disruptive events. And the second lever, digital innovation. This gives firms the ability to change every facet of how they go to market, their services, their value propositions, targeting their customers and their pricing models. So think of a matrix with the top right quadrant being optimal achievement on organizational agility and digital innovation. Well, that's the quadrant where our customers want to be, and that's what we're helping them achieve. Now let's talk a little bit more in detail about the solutions that we are innovating for the professional services industries. I'd like to introduce you to Andrew Rowling, our Senior Product Manager for N4 Cloud Suite Corporate's offering for professional services. Thank you. I've had the privilege to be with N4 for over eight years now. I'm pleased to serve in the role as Product Director as a product director here at Infor, I work hand in hand with our customers to provide last mile functionality. As we see a new digital reality at play in the professional services vertical, Infor Cloud Suite Corporate really serves to meet the needs of our customers. Our comprehensive capabilities deliver industry tools for consulting and advising, research and development, staffing and employment, and business and consumer services. Infor Cloud Suite Corporate entails your financials, your supply management, your HCM, and your payroll, and it's all built on a robust technology stack. Now let's take a second to talk about the Infor technology platform. It's called Infor OS. Infor OS is a modern technology platform that will make your users more proactive and instead of reactive. For instance, when they log in the morning, they'll be brought to a Mingle homepage. So no matter their role, say they're a project manager or their CFO, they'll have a homepage with key performance indicators, key risk indicators on it, and anything that's important to them in their regular job. This is delivered from Infor, uh, but you have the option as a customer to tailor them to meet your own unique needs. Think of it a bit like a tablet or a cell phone. You can mix and match which widgets are on these home pages. In for Federation Services, this is our security tool that encompasses Cloud Suite Corporate. So no matter if you're in financials or you're in HCM or you're in payroll, you'll have that single sign-on capability. The next piece I'd like to talk about is IDM or Infor Document Management. It's your central repository to store all your documents. So your invoice templates, anything that you need that you're gonna email out to a customer, IDM has that place for you. Finally, Infor Locally. Infor Locally is our localization tool. So when you're working outside the country, you'll have Infor Locally that will do your localizations for you. Infor Mobility lets you work the way that you live. So say you're that project manager, you're on the go all the time, now you can log in from your mobile device, you can adjust your projects, you can search your projects, you can put comments on projects, you can enter time on a particular project, and you can approve budget change orders on a particular project. 
The Infort mobility is across all applications, so financials, supply management, and human capital management. So no matter your role at your organization, you can log into your mobile device, whether that be Apple or Android, and make adjustments to your applications. Implementing Infor Professional Services. Infor's key technology gives you unprecedented time to value. So when you hit the go live, you're already in high gear running. We've done the rough math and there's nearly 3,000 consulting hours baked in to Infor Cloud Suite Corporate. There are nearly 70 plus security accelerators built out for you. So we have that role that your organization needs. So instead of doing that in, during the implementation, it's already done for you. Our unified solutions unify both front and back office needs, providing greater visibility to make business decisions and maximize your productivity, your operational efficiency, and your financial margins. Next, I'd like to discuss Infor's roadmap for professional services. When you're part of the Cloud Suite corporate community, we have monthly CU calls where we talk about what's coming, and then you can decide as an organization if you want to activate the functionality. This is what the slide will look like from month to month. You know, the feature enhancements will change, but typically it's around 100 features that we deliver between financials and supply management. HCM also does the same as new features come out. But you can see the net new features, and then you can go and look in the what's new information to find out about the features. Now I'd like to share some recently released enhancements that adhere to that professional services vertical. First, we added the ability to edit the invoice line amounts, including billable amount, billable units, billable rate, and tax exempt. Professional services organizations have a requirement for the biller to be able to write up and write down the calculated invoice line amounts. Next, we created a project retainer invoice format for the project retainer form. This way, organizations are able to send out invoices for their retainers. Another example is we've added the employee and the resource to the project billing rate table. So employees do not need to be tracked as one of the user-defined dimensions. This enhancement gives Infor customers the flexibility in tracking resources. And this was a key enhancement for one of Infor's professional services customers. The next slide is Infor Strategic Initiative's 12-month look ahead. All of the items circled in blue adhere to the professional services industries. Last mile functionality for professional services is called out in the line item. This includes numerous enhancements that serve the pro-serve vertical. Some of the other key enhancements include AR customer portal, credit card processing with PICI compliance, improved user experience and budget edits, subscription billing, and key country localizations. The final one is we have enhanced dimension analysis. You heard all the investments we made in our industry-focused Cloud Suite solutions. I will give you a brief overview on the investments we're making in services to help our customers realize the value and take advantage of all the innovations we're making to the product. Last year at Inforum, we launched Infor Agility with one sole purpose, provide faster time to value for our customers. I'm happy to share that we made tremendous progress in the last year. We had three key tenants when we launched in for agility. One, we never start a project with a clean sheet of paper. We always bring Infor's point of view for that industry to help customers get started with the project. Second, we focus on giving quicker wins or go lives to our customers, embracing agile principles versus big bang and prolongated projects. Third, Go Live is just the start of the journey with our customers, not the end. In order to make those tenants successful, we've invested in a few things. We've launched next generation implementation accelerators that comes with industry process models, tools, templates, methodology that goes with it, and also automated testing, task subscriptions, task services, so that our customers can 
quickly regression test our applications. We also created a very unique framework called 60-30-10. This framework allows our customers to look at all the business processes that are needed to support their business, yet focus on the processes that are most critical for them. We firmly believe not all business processes are created equal. So the 60-30-10 framework helps our customers focus on the 60% that are core that they can use out of the box or adopt out of the box, and then really focus on the 30, which is configured or tweaked, and 10 that are unique. We've successfully used this model. In fact, some of our customers were able to achieve 90% out of the box using the 60-30-10 framework. We know that Go Live is just the start of the journey, so we created managed services offerings to help our customers once they're in the cloud to continue to take the innovations we're putting into the product. In addition, we launched Info Process Intelligence, which allows our customers to measure, to monitor their business processes with their actual transactional data, and then assess the processes that they have to continue to improve, automate, and do a continuous improvement process. Finally, we've invested and trained several info and partner resources, and we continue to train them so that they can come and help our customers take advantage of all the investments we're making in info agility. Thank you for your time. Over the past several years, our team has been very successful in working with large enterprise customers to deliver industry vertical solutions that made them more competitive. Today, you're gonna to see some examples about how Infor knows the challenges you're facing and how we've created a platform for business transformation. We encourage you to work with our experts to create a roadmap using our content, which you can excel with. Our development team, our marketing team, our product marketing teams, our sales service, and also our partners are dedicated to your success. And we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you very much.